Hey, what's up guys, it's Nick2, and today I'll be showing you guys my absolute favorite hunter build to use right now that will enable you to be invisible literally all the time without even having to use a glaive, as well as having an insane amount of survivability so that you're pretty much unkillable and some pretty good ad clear capability. You can very easily throw on a glaive with this build if that's your thing, but everybody kind of already knows about the glaive, and I wanted to make something a little bit different that is also going to clear out enemies a lot faster. But with this build, you can not only have invisibility available for yourself, like literally 24-7, but you can also spam smoke bombs to not only weaken targets, but to also help out your teammates and make them invisible. On top of that, you're going to have your grenade available super often as well. Honestly, it's no secret that Hunter got the short end of the stick when it comes to Void 3.0, and it isn't nearly as strong as Titan or Warlock when it comes to like raw ad clear capability. But what we do lack in damage and ability spamming, we can make up for by fully leaning into invisibility and survivability. And with this build played correctly, it's pretty much impossible to die. No matter what type of content you're doing, you will be everybody's favorite person to play with because you're simply just never dead. There's multiple different ways to set this up, and for those of you that love to run the glaive, I'll make sure to mention some alternative versions of the build that will help you guys out, so make sure to watch the video for that, and this will benefit you guys regardless. If you like the video, please make sure to drop a like as that helps me out a ton since I'm pretty new to making Destiny content, and feel free to check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash nick2. I also plan to upload a hunter build using stasis that will be extremely powerful for the rage, so make sure to subscribe for that video pretty soon here. With all that out of the way, let's get right into the build. So getting into the build itself, let's first talk about exotics. So personally, I'm going to be using Omniaculus because I think that this is the best version of this build. Not only is this going to give you 50% damage reduction whenever you're invisible, which like I said, we're fully leaning into survivability, so this is pretty much the best thing that you can use, but it's also going to give you an additional smoke bomb charge, and whenever you make your allies invisible, it's going to make them have the damage reduction as well. Alternatively, there are things like um, Graviton Forfeit, which I know that a lot of you are probably going to mention. If you really like Graviton Forfeit for the slight boost in recovery that it's going to give you, not slight actually, it gives you basically 90 recovery whenever it's active, or it's going to also uh, make your melee recharge faster when you are invisible. You can certainly use this, however, I think that categorically it's just worse and doesn't synergize as well as Omnioculus is, and we're really going to be taking advantage of the fact that we have that damage reduction and that we have two smoke bombs rather than one smoke bomb charge. So I'd highly recommend Omni. Alternatively, the only thing that I think is good, like Hunter Exotics, I'm going to be completely honest. Hunter's my main, by the way. I'm going to be honest. Hunter Exotics suck, dude, especially for Void 3.0. There's not very many options. The only other option that I like is Frosties because it's going to give you ability energy while you're sprinting, but that's also the downfalls that you have to be sprinting to utilize it. And in combat, you're not often just, you know, W key sprinting the entire time, but that is going to give you more grenades, more smoke bomb, and um, more dodge cooldown. And I guess dodging is going to give you some movement speed, but that's not really what we care about. What we care about is survivability, and this is the best version of the build in my opinion because we just have all of our cooldowns up all the time. How we're taking advantage of being uh, invisible all the time is with Status Executioner. Whenever we defeat a weakened, suppressed, or volatile target, it's going to give us invisibility. Like you guys have probably used with the Glaive, that's um, whenever you kill a suppressed target, that's going to give you invisibility. But with this build, we're going to be taking advantage of volatile. We're also going to be using Trapper's Ambush so that our smoke bomb, because we have two charges of them, is going to make us invisible as well as making our teammates invisible. Uh, we don't really care about the quick fall thing because that thing kind of sucks. Having more smoke bomb charges is also good because we can throw it down to on-demand weakened targets so that our weapons are going to do a little bit extra damage to them, particularly good when fighting uh, majors and stuff. So you might be wondering, uh, how on earth are we actually able to constantly kill enemies that are volatile so that we're invisible all the time? Main ways with volatile flow, pair that with a void weapon, any of your choice. There's also a ton of different weapons that um, are very viable for this build. You don't have to just use funnel web. Obviously, this is kind of the meta and what everybody's using. Uh, I really like it because the gun is just really, really powerful and SMGs are my favorite weapon archetype, but there's a ton of other options that you can use. But of course, to be able to take advantage of this, we need to be able to pick up void elemental wells so that our void weapons actually get the volatile rounds in the first place. Of course, Hunter's kind of at a disadvantage because you're not going to be able to fully take advantage of elemental ordnance like Warlock or Titanwood or Melee Wellmaker because your cooldowns are just a lot longer and you don't have ways to just on-demand generate a whole bunch of ability energy. Well, that's why we're going to be taking advantage of Reaping Wellmaker. This is the best elemental well mod that we can use on hunter because after we activate our class ability our next weapon final blow guaranteed regardless of anything regardless of whatever the type of weapon is is going to spawn a void elemental well 100 percent of the time what's also really good about this is uh, not only are we going to get our dodge cooldown super low so that we're able to spawn these on demand pretty much all the time but also this lasts nearly indefinitely i've dodged like 45 seconds before even entering an engagement before and then i kill a guy and then i have my dodge back already and then i 
I'm able to dodge again and just constantly spawn the wells. Our goal with this build is pretty much to have our dodge up all the time and pair that with the fact that we're running gambler's dodge so that every time we dodge we get our smoke bomb back and then we're just spawning a whole bunch of wells so that we have volatile flow active all the time and we have our invisibility active all the time. We're pretty much going to be able to dodge constantly so that we have 100% uptime on volatile rounds, which means you have 100% uptime on visibility, which also means we're going to get our smoke bomb back quicker, and we're going to have a lot of grenade ability energy so that we can throw our grenades and we can spam smoke bombs for not only the weekend, but also to invis us and our teammates whenever we need it. Some other mods that are going to particularly synergize with the setup uh, on my helmet, I'm just running double harmonic siphon because we're pretty much getting all void kills. This is just going to spawn a ton of orbs. However, you could run like an ammo finder or something. On my gloves, I have grenade kick start and fastball. Uh, the grenade kickstart is simply just to have the grenade up a little bit more often. You could also use a melee kickstart so you get more smoke bombs. I haven't really tested which one I like more, but the difference is like literally less than three seconds, so it's not all that big of a deal. In terms of our chest, I like to run the double damage resistance things, and then I have another well spawning mod in the form of elemental armaments. This is going to give us a lot more consistency because more than the other classes, we are using our weapon a ton, so any time that we just get avoid weapon kill which will work with enigma but it will only work with the shooting from the glaive it doesn't work from the melee with the glaive just so you guys know this is going to enable us to spawn a whole bunch of wells as well because we're getting a lot of kills with our weapon however the uh proc rate on this is much lower and not as consistent as reaping wellmaker but it is pretty much our other best bet in terms of spawning wells pair that with bountiful wells to where whenever we spawn a well it's going to drop two instead of just the one this pretty much just helps us get our melee cooldown back extremely fast and i have double innervation to reduce the cooldown of my grenade i may actually want to use run one ob solution instead of a double innervation but you could also make this um, the mobility cooldown one or sorry the class ability cooldown one or the melee one depending on uh, what you feel like you're having more problems with but i wanted to get my grenade back a little bit more that's also why i'm running bomber here on my cloak but you could also run melee kickstart if you wanted to make this stasis and then we pair that with font of might just going to make our funnel web do 25 percent more damage so that it has the volatile flow and the extra damage so funnel web is able to just actually do all of our damage and funnel web is like the main core part of this build is pretty much just melting everything with that and then we're able to stay invisible all the time another very good option in the form of well mods is well of utility where whenever you pick up a void elemental well it's going to give you extra class ability energy this is particularly good i don't know if i think that it's as good as bountiful wells is i haven't really fully tested it what i like about bountiful wells is that if my dodge is up it's going to more benefit my other cooldown such as grenade or smoke bomb if that's what i'm the lowest cooldown on my dodge is up pretty frequently as well but if you're having problems with your dodge you can't get to 100 mobility maybe then i would throw on well of utility another really good mod is well of tenacity if you want even more survivability it's slightly overkill but there are times where you aren't invisible therefore not benefiting from the 50 percent damage reduction i'm not sure if this stacks with omnioculus i'm inclined to believe that it would because a lot of the damage reduction in this game does stack but it's not going to stack additively where like this is 50 percent and omni is 50 percent so you have 100 percent so you're invincible it's not really how it works it would probably be 50 percent of the 50 percent which would be 25 percent i don't know and then you have 75 percent damage reduction i think that that's how it works uh even if it doesn't this would probably still be particularly good because you're not invisible all the time. I did test this build a bit with melee wellmaker, but using your smoke bombs to get kills with melees is not great, and the smoke bomb doesn't do very much damage by itself anyways. That's pretty much it in terms of the mods, in terms of the fragments. We've already talked about aspects and stuff. In terms of fragments, you pretty much want to always have echo of expulsion, void ability, final blows cause targets to explode. With your volatile rounds, this is just going to make enemies explode more, and it's very good for your grenade. I also have echo provision, where whenever I damage a target with a grenade, you don't actually have to kill them, you only have to damage them. It's going to give you melee energy. This is particularly good just to have your smoke bomb op up more often, but if you're not really having problems with your smoke bomb, or you're not using it that much, you don't need to run this. However, I really like to use my smoke bomb to weaken the target, and I just like having it up whenever I need it, pretty much. So this is particularly helpful. And then I have Echo of Dilation. Uh, this is terrible, but I'm using it literally just to give me the extra mobility. But some other options that are pretty good, um, none of these are like particularly insane or mandatory. I'd say Echo of Explosion is probably the only like kind of mandatory one. You could use Echo of Exchange so that whenever you get a kill with your smoke bomb, it's going to give you grenade energy, but that's not nearly as good as the other ones because you're not getting that many kills with your smoke bomb. You're kind of using it to either weaken or to just go invisible. You could use Echo of Remnants to make your Vortex grenade last longer. Um, the Vortex grenade doesn't do like an insane amount of damage, so I haven't been using that. You use Echo of Reprisal to give you additional super energy, which would probably be better than Dilation, or it certainly would be if you don't need the mobility, but I wanted it to get the mobility. You could also use Echo of Undermining to where your Void Grenades are going to weaken targets. I decided to swap this off because my Smoke Bomb is going to weaken targets, and I just wanted to have more discipline, but you could very easily slap this on as well. 
Obviously for the stats, you want as high as mobility as possible. You want around eight or seven recovery and then dump the rest into discipline and intellect. Intellect is good because the Mobius Quiver Super is going to do an insane amount of damage. Discipline's good because, you know, throwing your grenade back is really nice. And if we pair that with Echo of Precision and then double bomber and then uh, innervation on our boots, we have our grenade actually up a lot. You could very easily, um, instead of putting on uh, elemental armaments, you could put on elemental ordnance. But I don't think ordnance is, good, is as good in a team scenario because you may not be getting all that many kills with your grenade, and whenever you do have your grenade up, if you miss, then you just completely lost that on the opportunity to get those wells. But um, with armaments, you pretty much have it up all the time. Super quick Giga Brain life hack for those of you guys that stayed until the end of the video. Um, something that you can do to make your super do a ton more damage in environments where your equipment is not locked. You can very easily swap off of your Omni Oculus and then put on Orpheus Rig really, really quickly. Pair that with this uh, artifact mod that's going to give you 30% extra damage whenever you're um, benefiting from Devour or Critically Wounded. Like I mentioned in my previous video, um, Orpheus Rig is the highest damaging super if you guys didn't know. So you could very easily just swap to this, do a whole bunch of damage and then boom swap right back to whatever you're using before with your omni oculus setup and you just did a whole bunch of extra damage because you did that that's super quick makes your super do a lot more damage and uh, honestly i intend to cheese this in the raid because using orpheus rig all the time is something that you know you probably don't want to use for neutral game because it's not really benefiting you outside of just doing extra super damage but if you pair that with um, being able to just you know use Omni Oculus and swap around like that, um, it, it's insane how beneficial that is. In terms of weapons, like I promised, there are some other options that you can use instead of Funnel Web. Let's talk about heavies real quick. So for heavies, I really like to use Threaded Needle paired with Funnel Web. Uh, you get that point of, font of might and you get the volatile rounds, which is really good. And I just really like using linear fusions, but you could use something like Royal Entry, Red Herring, even a machine gun is very good with volatile rounds. Or if you want, you can just slap on Parasite or Galahorn, something like that. I like to use Wither Horde in my top slot, but you could use anything from, you know, a blinding grenade launcher to a shotgun. It really just depends on your preference. But personally, this is my favorite setup to use with this. Alternatively, if you want to use the Glaive, you can throw on an osmosis weapon, and this is why getting a grenade back is also pretty good, but as long as your osmosis weapon is out, this is going to make it void pretty much the entire time after you threw a grenade, and then you can take advantage of this with volatile rounds, and then anytime that you want to, you can throw on the suppressing glaive mod and then run in with the glaive and you can suppress enemies and stay invisible all the time if you're doing difficult content and if you just want to add clear you can use something like fatebringer osmosis firefly is actually an insane role or osmosis adrenaline junkie is very very good um but osmosis weapons i'd highly recommend checking out especially if you want to use enigma or you could just use an osmosis weapon and pair that with something like null composure to absolutely decimate any sort of um, major boss that you have and then of course you can pair that with parasite galhorn Another setup with uh, Enigma is actually putting on Tractor Cannon, and then you suppress an enemy, swap to the Tractor Cannon, then swap back to the Enigma so that your Enigma is going to do 30% more damage, which will help certainly with its major or boss uh, ad killing capability. And then anytime that there's a bunch of adds, swap out the Fate Bringer, throw a grenade, and also with this build, because you have so many smoke bombs, smoke bombing on the floor and then weakening that enemy so that your Enigma does even more damage. Um, then you don't have to run the tractor cannon, right? And then you could use like Parasite or something like that. So that anytime that there's a boss, you just swap to, you suppress them, swap to the Parasite, boom, blow them up, and they're weakened from the smoke bomb, and you're invisible while you shot that shot in the first place. Ton of different options here. I'm really looking for some more osmosis weapons that are good. If you guys have any recommendations, please feel free to leave it down in the comments. I don't really like using hand cannons and PVE all that much. Fatebringer is one of my favorite ones, but I really only like it with like Firefly and Explosive Payload. But if you guys have any um, other options that are actually pretty good, let me know. I know that you can get Scathe Lock with Osmosis. And I think that, that weapon's okay, but all rifles aren't that great. Um, I'd really like an SMG with Osmosis. I think that that would be really good. Because honestly, my favorite weapon to use is Null Composure, but I've just been using Funnel Web this whole time because that's what I have that's a void. But if I have an osmosis weapon, that's really, really nice. But that about covers everything. I hope that you guys really like using the build. Like I said, the survivability with this is actually crazy. You're just invisible pretty much whenever you want. This is also very good for Gambit. I use in Gambit and volatile rounds on the funnel web. I mean, it's it ad clears perfectly fine. It's not going to be that much slower than like tossing a million grenades like it is on a Warlock. You're gonna be able to just get a whole bunch of kills with your weapon and you're spawning a ton of wells for your teammates, which is really good. You're making them invisible. Honestly, you're 
this build is super good for not only solo play but team play you're you're really a team player being able to give everybody survivability and the flexibility with whatever weapons you use is very high too because you're not really locked into anything other than you just want to use a void weapon but the glaive with osmosis is very very strong for any sort of content that's going to have champions because you can unstop the champion or suppress them with your glaive swap to whatever primary you want and then add clear with that and then you can also have a really good heavy in the form of an exotic heavy i hope that you guys enjoy the build i think that it's fairly creative and it's really nice being able to have your dodge up all the time and be invisible all the time if you did please be sure to drop a like as that helps me out an absolute ton feel free to subscribe for videos in the future and share the video with your friends it's been uh, pretty difficult getting into the destiny scene i'm not gonna lie I thought videos would do a little bit better than they are, but I'm just going to keep pumping the videos out. Um, but if you do like the video, uh, dropping a like really does help me out a lot. Thank you guys a ton, and I will see you in the next one.